everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam doom hammer part one, we cranked out the bulk of the stone hammerhead. Um, we did a bunch of our side details, we created the whole structure, we built the inner support to be able to house the handle. Uh, we cut all the bevels on all the ends. Um, a lot of work, um, but it wasn't hard. You saw how easy this was. Everything we do is easy. Just gotta take your time, measure things, go slow, and bam, you can nail it. Um, now, in this episode, making an EVA foam doom hammer part two. We're gonna finish off all the details on the head of this thing, and then we're gonna tackle my favorite part, this crazy awesome handle. This handle might be my all-time favorite build of any build, is the handle. Um, super cool. So we're going to uh, knock all that out in this episode. We're gonna get it completely finished and built in this episode. Um, so, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, now this is going to be our handle. Now what we so we drew out our mark right here and this is where we're going to wrap our first piece of foam then this now we're going to give it five minutes and then bam contact okay there we go just like that nice flat contact now we're going to roll it we're gonna roll it. See that? We're getting a nice tight roll around here. Now we're gonna come towards the end. And we could have absolutely perfect contact. Now we measured this first to make sure. Now we're gonna come in and we're going to line up our edge at the top. Just like that. All right, there we go. That. All right, now what we're going to do is we've got our inch and three quarter foam stack. We're gonna cut this out on the bandsaw. All right, there we go. We've got the circle cut out on the bandsaw. Very nice. Now, all right, there's the middle. Now we're just gonna, we're gonna do that all the way around. All right, now we're gonna go over to the bandsaw. We're gonna tilt it on an angle and we're gonna cut our beveled sides. All right, there we go. We cut the bevel around the one side. Now we're gonna flip it over and use this edge of the bevel to cut the other side. All right, sweet. Look at that. <laughs> we're gonna come in with our, our Forzner bit. This should cut a nice clean hole right through here and out the other side. So we're gonna put a sacrificial piece of foam down on the bottom so we can go into it. Now here's the scary part. If we don't go straight through here, we go crooked on an angle, it's gonna make the hole that comes out on this side crooked. So when we slide it on the pole, it's not gonna work right. So a little bit nervous here, but we're gonna go for it because that's how we roll up black sheep props. We're crazy, we'll go for it. Here we go. All right, now let's flip it over and let's start on this side. See if we can meet in the middle. Start right in the center like that. Here we go. Did we do it? Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Check that out. That Great, Scott, that's cool. Now all we gotta do is like five more of those. So. All right, now we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding stick and we're just gonna hit off some of the light little fuzzies that are on the end that the bandsaw leaves. Right on the edge, like that. Just like that. It's gonna take our time. We're gonna go around the whole thing. It's gonna take off all those bandsaw marks. Helped it out, smoothed it even more. 
holy cow, is that gonna be cool when we slide that on there and then we tighten it up with some heat. Wow. All right, totally radical, check that out. We've got the bevel on both sides, we've got the hole drilled in the middle, bevel on both sides, hole drilled in the middle, and this has a bevel on just one side. Now these are the three end pieces, so this is going to come in here and it's gonna fit right there on the end of our handle. So what we're going to do is we are going to in here cemented and in here cemented. We're gonna give it a few minutes and then bam, contact. We're gonna make contact just like that. All right, there we go. Now this is not stuck to the wood, but it doesn't matter because it's super tight. We drilled the hole smaller than the dowel, so it's super tight, but it is connected here, so it's not going anywhere. We're gonna cement in here. Same thing, give it a couple minutes before we make contact. All right, here we go. We're gonna slide it in. All right, now same thing. This piece is not glued to the wood dowel. That's because the hole is smaller than the dowel, so it slid on real tight. But we did contact the cement here, here, and here. Okay, now this final piece is gonna go on. Actually, we'll put this one after. We'll come in first. That's a little Both are cemented, give it a few minutes. Wedge that on there, right up against the foam. Holy smokes, is that cool. Look at that. Man, is that a great detail. Wow. All right, there we go. We did the exact same technique. We've got our four pieces that are gonna go up here at the front. These three are different thicknesses, but they all have the double bevel on it and they all have the hole drilled in the middle and then this front piece has a bevel on just one side not two sides so this is going to come in like this here then there's going to be some foam wrapped and then another piece and then some foam wrapped and then another piece all right we've got our dowel and our piece cemented now we're going to come in and All right, that's attached. Okay, now we're coming around to the end. Then we're gonna do what we've done on all of our other pieces. We wanna to try to get the tops attached. So we're going to come in and get that in there like that. Get the top edges attached. Look at that, that's not bad. Not terrible. Now don't forget, we have little tiny raised pieces. We can just clean that up with the Dremel there tiny little piece there so no. that is getting crazy all right. all right here we go we get contact up against the foam down there low Just like that. Wow, that's a handle right there. Okay, now we're gonna hit this real light with the heat gun just to tighten up the foam. All right, we're gonna get our smooth bit out that's got the tip on it so we can get in there a little bit. All right, there we go. We smoothed it out right in here where we had those couple little bumps. You Beautiful. Nice and smooth. Okay, now what we did was we drew out some inch thick strips, which we're going to use for the fake leather strap that we're gonna wobble our knife back and forth so they're not totally straight on the edges, and we want that look. There we go. All right, so now, see that? 
we are going to cut our strip on an edge like that because that's how we're going to start. All right, here we go. We're going to get it on here just to get started. All right, now, there we go. It's on there, it's attached. Now we can start, and it's flexible, so we can just like that. All the way around. And we'll just keep doing that all the way around the whole thing until we get up to the top. All right, there we go. We went up this side. Now we ended at the top. Now we're going to take our next piece. We're going to line it up right there. And now we're going to start going down around this side the same way we just did that. All right, now we've come all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to wrap around the handle a couple times, maybe just once. Right there. So let's make the mark on this side so we can see it right there. We're going to cut. All right, there we go. All right, here's our last little strip. We're going to give it a few minutes. Curve it here at the bottom to line right up just like that. Wrap here and here. We laid down a thinner foam strip in here so that it would leave room for us wrapping our fake leather strap around it. Look at that, man. That's a handle right there. Holy cow. All right, now we're gonna come in and we're going to round off this front edge of this piece before we attach it. So we're definitely gonna put our dust mask on. All right, we're gonna bring our smooth bit in. We're gonna heat up the edge that we just dremeled. That is nice and tight and round it off. Nice. We've got our Forzner bit out. We're going to go down inside this support that we have in here. We're going to try to go down as deep as the edge of that blue tape. This is going to be a little scary. Wow. And there's Radical Thunder outside too. Check that out. We're going to get a silver sharpie line down, roughly the size that we need to glue. Just like that. Okay, we've got cement here and here. We're going to give it a few minutes and then... Okay, now we're ready to stick. So this contact cement will stick to that contact cement. And we just want to add a little bit of extra. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to... There we go. We're going to come in and we're going to attach it just like that. Foam to foam has made contact, so that's not going anywhere. But what we also did was we also got wet contact cement on the wood dowel. And the reason we did that is the wood dowel will go up inside the hole we drilled and then the moisture content in the contact cement will evaporate and the contact cement that rubbed along the walls and the contact cement that rubbed along the dowel will dry together and bam, extra contact. So we probably have enough just by this foam and this foam touching, but a dip. bam, that's a honking prop right there. And it okay, now we've sharpened up our brass tube. We're gonna come in. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're going to come in and we're going to round it off. That is a cool little detail. Looks round. Now we're just going to do five more of those and we're going to go all the way around this collar with those little round rivets. 
punched them out with the brass tube and then we rounded them off and heat sealed them and man those are some tight little round rivets. All right we've got a little super glue down here. We're gonna There is our six rounded rivets all the way around the collar there, evenly spaced. Bang. All right, now we did four more of the same round rivets for the bottom handle. We're gonna... All right. All right, now we're going to begin building our little dome that's going to go on the top of our hammer. And we're going to have to make it up out of three pieces. We have our same size circles laid out, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut bevels on these and we're going to have to round off the top. So we're going to walk step by step through how to do this. So we're going to take this first piece and we're going to bevel cut it on the bandsaw. Okay, so there's the first piece, the bottom piece, and we cut it on a slight beveled edge all the way around. Spin that around and we're going to trace around shape. That's the exact size of the smallest part of our bevel. And we want to come a little bit inside there because we want this circle to be just a tiny bit smaller than this circle. So we found our little container we hold our extra foam rivets in and it looks like that is perfect. That's just a little bit smaller, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to trace that line. Now we're going to cut that on the exact same bevel that we cut this on. Okay, there we go. Now we've got that cut out with the same bevel. Now what we're going to do is this. We're going to bring this in just like that, and we're going to stick these together. Now if you notice, this piece is just a little bit smaller than that piece, and the reason is this because then we're going to come in and we're going to wrap this cord around it. And we want the cord to stick up just a little bit, not all the way. So we cut this slightly smaller circle for that. All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes. Right in the center. Just like that, putting a tiny little piece down, and we're going to, now we're just going to follow it around, right around the edge, wrap it, hold it while it bonds, very cool. Now we're just going to keep going all the way around. Follow our cord around, and we're going to mark rough where we want to cut our cord off, right there. Okay. Put it down. Now you see why we needed a slightly smaller piece for this. Now we're going to come in with our cord and we're going to wrap a second piece around. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to take our top, which is the exact size of this piece, so now we know when we cut this piece out, it's going to fit perfectly right over that. All right, there we go. Now we're going to cut that on the bandsaw. That is nice. But now what we need to do is we need to round the top of this off. So... Is that nice? All right. Give it a few minutes and then BAM! Contact. Just gonna line right up over our circles. Very cool. And very easy. We have our crosshair here and we have our three marks here, here, and here. So when we come up we can line up this mark with this side and this center mark with this so that when we come in, we can set it down and we know it's going to be right smack in the middle like that. All right. All 
All right, both pieces glued. Give it a couple minutes. We're gonna line it up. We put a little bit of pressure down there just to get it attached all the way around. All right, we're almost done. All right, there's our paper template for our head transferred over. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to do some of these cuts with the X-Acto knife the same way that we did the gashes on the hammer. And what I mean is this, is for example, these right here, we're gonna come in this side and I'm gonna come around this side and All right, just like that. Now we gotta try to do that for all these. We're gonna come in. Okay, there we go, just like that. See that? Now we're just gonna have to keep going. That's not too bad. Not bad, we've got a slight beveled edge around the outside. We're cutting. All right, look at that eye. That turned out pretty nice. Kind of tough to get in there and do some tight sculpting, but once we heat seal it and we seal it with Plasti Dip and we put it on the side of the hammer, it might look pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. We've got both pieces cemented. Give it a couple minutes and then this is the last piece. All right, time to stick our last piece on and with this, our doom hammer comes to a close. Get our nose down there. We're gonna. And there it is. Not bad. Now. Ha <laughs> ha! Dog, check that out. Man, this thing is crazy. Love this. This was so much fun. Uh, and it's big, too, man. It's a big hunk and prop. Um, it's kind of nice working with like larger pieces. Sometimes we do some builds that have kind of small intricate pieces and you got to really be careful, but this was bigger. It's a little, a little nicer dealing with big giant chunky pieces. Um, so, uh, you saw that totally went down. No problem. Not difficult. Just got to take your time. Um, who man, wrapped the straps around the handle to make it look like faux leather. We did a lot of rounding off to get all the round rivets, the round edges on our other gold details, the way we did the the uh, little V cuts in this detail on the head to peel out the strips in the middle, kind of the same way we did the gashes. Tons of building in this prop, um, but super cool. Love this thing. Uh, so. That concludes making an EVA foam, Doom Hammer Part 2. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.